Welcome to Fonts Learn. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a setup file with SQL database in Visual Studio 2019 using Microsoft Visual Studio Installer Projects extension. To play the demo, you should create a new Windows Forms application, then add the service-based database to your project. Next, you need to connect to the local database from the Visual Studio, then add a simple customer table to the local database. You need to add new data sources to your project, then enter the connection string name and select the table you want to add to your data set. After you have defined a data type as a data source in a project, you can create forms that display model data by dragging items from the data sources window into your WinForm. These items become controls on the form that are bound to the data source. As you can see, the binding source component will automatically add to your form when dragging items from the data source window into your form. The binding source component serves two purposes. First, it provides a layer of indirection when binding the controls on a form to data. This is accomplished by binding the binding source component to your data source, and then binding the controls on your form to the binding source component. All further interaction with the data, including navigating, sorting, filtering, and updating, is accomplished with calls to the binding source component. Second, the binding source component can act as a strongly typed data source. You can easily modify your layout after dragging items from the data source window into your WinForm.
You can add check changed event handlers to the gender checkbox control allows you to change text to male or female based on gender value. To fix the error, you need to open the data set. Next, set the automatic increase value for the ID field. You can find your local database in the debug folder. Remember that each time you rebuild your project, all data in the debug folder will be deleted. To create the setup file, you need to create a setup project. Select Application Folder. Next, select the files you want to create setup or choose to add product output. If you want to create a shortcut to your desktop screen, you need to select the executable file you want to create. Then right-click and choose to create shortcut from the drop-down menu. Next, drag the shortcut that you created to the user's desktop or user's programs menu.
you can also add an icon to your application or application shortcut. Click on your setup project. Next, select the properties tab, then you can enter the author, product name, description, etc. for your setup file. Right-click on your setup project, then select Properties. Next, click the Prerequisites button. You can add requirements to install some other components before installing your application, such as .NET Framework, SQL Server Express, etc. If you get an error when rebuilding your setup project, you should run the command as I did in this tutorial to solve the problem. Right-click on the setup project, then select Open Folder in File Explorer from the menu. You can find your setup file in the debug folder. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.